What's happening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our channel. My name is Michael and today on Fudge Muppet we're presenting our profit build. This modded build looks awesome, is great for any Morrowind fans out there, and of course any Elder Scrolls fans who love Dunmar and Dunmar lore. It also happens to be very effective in combat. For something different, I'll also be doing the backstory towards the end. The Prophet uses Tribunal Robes from the Immersive Armors mod, alongside the boots and gauntlets and also wears the Gold Tribunal Mask. In your settings, to get the blue robes, you'll have to go to the Mod Configuration menu. For your weapon, you'll want the Ebony Cutlass, which looks like the Ebony Scimitar from Morrowind that the Ordinators had, which is cool, and that's from the Immersive Weapons mod. For Magic, you'll want the Apocalypse Magic mod. Okato's Recital is at the core of this character's playstyle, and this is a spell where every time you enter battle, three stored spells become active with no magic cost. We store Ebony Flesh, Flame Cloak, and Sword and Sorcery. Sword and Sorcery is from the Apocalypse mod, and it makes sword damage 25% more if you have magic equipped in one hand, and makes magic damage 25% more if you have a sword in one hand. This encourages the Battle Mage playstyle of the Prophet. In our left hand, we have chosen Incinerate as our destruction spell, but you can choose any elemental spell you like. For companions, you'll want Azura's Priestess, Arena, and of course, make sure to do Azura's Quest. This is a priority, and obviously, do not make the Black Star. You'll also want the Amazing Followers Tweak mod to overall just improve your companion experience. Finally, you'll want the alternate start mod and you'll choose the arrive by boat to Windhelm option. Feel free to suggest more mods below in the comment section that go well with this build. The skills for the Prophet are one-handed alteration, destruction, and smithing. One-handed will of course be to slice apart your enemies, smithing to create and sharpen your sword, an alteration to store ebony flesh in Okato's recital, and even use paralysis and other utility spells. Destruction will also be used to its full extent with the cloaks and ranged attacks. I also like the wall-based spells for this build too. In terms of a stat spread, the Prophet is going to have 60% health and 40% magicka. One of the main reasons for this is that Ebony Flesh, Flame Cloak, and Sword and Sorcery are all cast for free through Akado's Recital. So you'll have a bit more health of course to stay alive, and the magicka will be for all your utility spells and battle casted spells like Incinerate. In terms of a Standing Stone, we're going with the Lord Stone for 50 more points of armor rating and a 25% resistance to magic. This stacks nicely with the benefits from Alteration Tree perks. Looking at the backstory now, the Prophet is a devout follower of the Daedric Lord Azura. He seeks her guidance and one day hopes to live in her beautiful realm of Moonshadow. The Prophet was born in the city of Blacklight in Morrowind and grew up in a family of Redoran warriors. His brother, his father, his cousins were all warriors, though his mother was a priestess of the Reclamations at their local temple. Unlike the rest of the males in his family, he took a deep interest in the temple. He favored Azura above all the reclamations and always made offerings and prayed at her shrine. He learnt the art of sword and smith from his brothers and the art of magic from his mother and priests at the temple. While he was relatively content with serving the temple, he wanted to seek out a more direct way of serving Azura. Over dinner, his cousin mentioned that he was to marry. Celebrations all around occurred. His wife-to-be was a Dunma from Windhelm who had recently returned to Morrowind. The Prophet's cousin married months later, and his wife told the Prophet of the Great Shrine to Azura near Winterhold in Skyrim. This was the Prophet's new purpose, a pilgrimage to Azura's Great Shrine in Skyrim. He said his goodbyes to his family and left on a boat to Windhelm. That is where the game begins for you, where you will then begin your adventure in Skyrim. Here he will spread the word of Azura, bringing gifts to those faithful and punishment to those who smear her name. And that wraps up this week's Skyrim build, The Prophet. I hope you've enjoyed this build, and I'm very excited to inform you that we've created our own custom, limited edition, high quality Fudge Muppet mouse pads. If you'd like one for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. It also has a secret Daedric message for all our fans, and also for our fans is designed for the gamer. Thanks heaps for watching, and also of course if you purchase one of our amazing mouse pads. My name is Michael, keep rocking, and I'll see you soon.